there's videos out there of people that do it. Now, when you check, if you're going to check inside of here without pulling your crank out, like just say if your crank is in, put this crank back in, you want to check to make sure that your filter isn't letting dirt in. The best way to check, and what I learned, is you take this swab and see where the crank is right here. See this little gap where you can fit it in here where the crank spins around on? This is the part where the crank rotates on. Take it, put it in there, rub it in there, okay? And it should be like a golden brown. See that? That's what it should look like. If you do that and it's black or dark, what you need to do is you need to pull your motor completely. You need to pull the crank out, okay? You don't have to take, I mean, I recommend you take your bearings out, but you need to clean your engine thoroughly. I mean, flush it thoroughly. Take the carburetor off, flush it thoroughly. Because if not, that dirt that's in there, eventually, it's going to wear out and, and do a damage to your crank. And usually you can tell if there's dirt in your crank because there'll be scuffs and scratchy abrasives. Like this crank's brand new pretty much, so there's nothing really on here but if you look in this area and you see a lot of like like somebody took a sandpaper on it that means that your filter isn't you're either not cleaning your filter enough or um your filter whatever filter it is you're using that's why i recommend man use motor savers now if you can't a motor saver is going to run you complete with the outerwear 40 bucks 40 something dollars now you can fit these on most, you know, most truggies except for low C's. These will not fit on a stock low C body. Uh, 4.0, you know, 3.0, 2, whatever, RTR even. This will not fit on a low C buggy either. So low C people that have truggies and buggies, you want to run these, you're out. You can run the outerwear, which means that you're running this, okay, the outerwear, which I recommend. But compared to the motor saver, that motor saver is a whole nother level, man, of, of, of filtering. Especially for you guys that, that are really lazy. Um, that, you know, maybe aren't lazy enough to where I would tell you to go do E-Word. <laughs> but are the lazy guys that just don't do a lot of upkeep on their nitros. And I don't know why, man. I guess they just like spending, uh, wasting, you know, money. And throwing money away, so I don't. I work too hard for it. But anyway, um, yeah. If you get if you get dirt in there, that means your filter is not working right. So anyway, now I looked at the like. It's like I said, we look at the block, and you can tell that the block on the P5 is a little bit different. Okay, you can look at both of them again. This is the P5. This is the Elite. Okay, but I mean, you could just see that similar quality. The quality is definitely there. You know, I mean, they're no Verosis. You know, I mean, if you look at the side of them, they're not much different. Again, P5. Remember, the P5 is the gray block. This is the Elite 5. Either one of these has ceramic bearings. Carburetors are obviously different. This is the, the my favorite. This carburetor is the best. These carburetors are good because it's an Overossi carburetor. But these, I don't like them. Especially because that, 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 that mid-range needle... That uh, second needle here, people, I don't know why, man, people screw with those things. I never, ever touch those. You don't know about these mid-needles, and you're not a race expert on this mid-needle. Don't touch it. Like, put some silicone over it or something, glue, or, so you can't mess with it. Leave it alone. Otherwise, you're going to open up a whole can of worms that you don't want anything to deal with because it's going to be a pain in your ass. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, so, I mean, they're, the blocks are pretty similar. There's not anything special. You know, I think I, the P5 at the top was a little bit different. But when you see the button head, you're going to know why. So anyway, those are the blocks. The cooling head. Now, this cooling head on the P5 is a little bit nicer. If you look at the Elite, it's pretty similar. Like, look at them. I mean, besides the color and, and, and the name, that's pretty identical. Okay, sides, same thing. But what I noticed on the P5, see that, that concave? It's got that cutout. Okay, this, the Elite doesn't. Okay, 
And why this has a cutout? Because it has a better button head. It has the one that has the seal. These are actually better than the standard ones just because they keep more dirt out. Now, I mean, it's pretty much the same button head. This is the Elite 5. This is the, the P5. Button head is the same thing. Just this one has that, that seal that keeps dirt out of it. So I noticed that. Now, this is the P5. Remember, these are lined up so you guys, if you get, so you know which, I don't have to keep telling you which is which when I show you the part. Elite 5 parts, P5 part. So this is the sleeve. Here's your exhaust port. Let's get this one here, the Elite. Um, exhaust ports. Now I'm looking at the, the this one here, the P5 has a little bit more of a rounding down in the bottom. I don't know why that is for. This one does have a little bit, but this one you can see has a little bit more. So the port, the exhaust ports are the same. So we'll go, we'll turn it counterclockwise. So, there, look at that port. Now, see? Same. Pretty identical. I can't notice any huge difference. Okay. Um, now let's turn them on the back. Same. Doesn't look any bigger, any special, you know, grind to it. And then there's the last. So from what I can see, these piston sleeves, except for for that little round, round, more rounding down the bottom, like a beveled, um, they're identical. There's no difference. Button head's a little different. Now let's look at the piston. I mean, look at these things brand new. I mean, both of these. This is the time where if I have to decide. Now I did notice the piston on the, this is where I think, I where I'm noticing that it, that it has a different feel to it. Because this has a lot to do with the way your motor performs. Your your piston, the way that it's done, with like, you know, Lance, like, is the only one that I said, like I said, laps the piston. But look, see that dimple? It has a dimple, just like the, 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 the Mitos, the Benitos, I believe, do. The high-end Novorossi Point 21s have that dimple. See, look at the, the P5, no dimple. That dimple, what that does, okay, do your homework. Like all the stuff that I'm showing you and telling you, don't just believe because, I'm, because I know what I'm talking about or because I did my homework. Go do your own research. Don't just leave it up to, you know, okay, well, the muggy said this. Go, go, go investigate, you know, or you can believe me, you know, I'm not lying to you. This is what I've learned. Okay, now, the reason this dimple, that, what that does is gives you room for more fuel and more air. And ultimately, performance gain. See, this one doesn't. Okay, now the crank. I noticed the crank on both of these. They need serious crank fill. Like serious. Like look at this. This is the Elite 5. Look at that. See that big old freaking trench in there? <laughs> that means that, that then when the fuel's coming down, it's getting trapped in there. Instead of when you ramp it, what it's going to do is help the fuel and the air just flow so much better. And even look at the P5. Look at that freaking trench in there, man. Both of these cranks need serious fills. That's going to help a lot. Now, if you look at the ends of them, where the timing timing, uh, timing ports are, that those little cutouts, pretty similar. I mean, I don't see any. This, these cranks are pretty much identical, except for, you know, this one was made, the, this one is a 2015 model. That's why if you notice on the top, it says tops. These are the older Novorossi's. This one here, 2018. See that date? See that date? So yeah, these cranks are pretty identical. Now, the um, back plate, yeah, same thing. Elite 5, same thing. No difference. So... There you go. Those are the difference. The P5 has a has a better seal on the top. That's why this is like this. It has a better seal. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's why I'm telling you 
the performance on this Elite is slightly edges this one. I've ran both of these. Bone stock. These are bone stock motors. And you know why? Because of that little dimple on the piston. That's the difference. That's This motor has more torque. I felt more torque in this engine. And they're both 5 ports. And they're both .21s. They're both made by Novorossi. I just showed you all the parts. The only real performance gain or difference is this piston. This is a better piston than the P5s have. Now, if you have a P5 and it has one of those in it, it might be a special one, I don't know. Um, but the, all P5s, pretty much different color heads, whether you have a blue head or whatever. That's just a regular old, you know, it's quality. You know, they got the Novorossi uh, crank, R7 crank, which is the same. These are good cranks. This, both of them have the same cranks, so the cranks are the same. Um, yeah, so that's the only difference. The Elite has that that little dimple in the top. So anyway, all right, so a couple tips. One tip is going to come from one type of material, which is zip ties. Zip ties have a lot of uses, obviously. Now, one of them is, now, what I do, if you guys have probably seen this before, you want to make little deals for your... Um, body clips and I'm sure you guys like I said have seen this before but all you do is you take this is tubing that's why I never throw away pieces of tubing okay first of all you take the the zip tie real quick put it through the end I'll put it this way put it through the end okay pull it Pull it nice and tight. Okay. Actually, I don't like it that way. I like it angled up. Turn it around. Okay. Now decide how much you want on it. Usually, I'll leave it about. You can always trim it. I'll leave it about. I'll leave it about right here. About like that. That's about how much I leave. So when you pull them out the body, it's easier to pull. Now. Whatever color you want, uh, I'll use this blue because it looks cool with the yellow. Take the tubing, slide it over, okay, just like that. Actually, there's a little bit too much on there, so what I'll do is cut a little piece of it off. Make it smaller. Okay, now put this over like this. Now, you take another zip tie, try to get it lined up the same direction, so you put it over like this, that end. Make sure that it's on there good, so it's not going to come off. Okay, then all you do is cut this piece off. Trim this a little bit. And there you go. Voila. Bam. Looks pretty fresh, too. And you can do whatever colors. I mean, what if you got different color tubing, purple, whatever. Um, also, when the clips come straight, just put them in a pair of pliers. Hold one end with the pliers, like so. That's how I get them in the angle. Hold that end like that, and then just bend the other one in, just so you got that angle. So, another thing you can do with um, zip ties is... Take a zip tie. This is for your wa your 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 nitro bottles. The caps that go on the end that people lose all the time. <laughs> I've lost tons of them. You glue. Take a zip tie. Okay. First, you got to pull it through and get it a loop. Pull it. You know what I mean. Close it up. Pull it through. Take the end. Glue it on this. Then you just put it over your 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 spout. And pull it tight so it's nice and snug. Okay, and it'll still slide. And there you go. So now, and also, you can pull pull the tension on it. Okay, so that way, you can pull it tight so it won't come off or whatever. And all you do is kind of slide it up, pull it off. Now you won't lose, there you go, you won't lose it. 
Or you can, if you have one of these type bottles, see that little loop right there? That wasn't there. I have this, has one of these caps on it and the string kind of hanging off. You can tie it around here, but it slides off all the time. So I took kind of like that, closed it, op let a little bit of it open, zip tie, and glued it onto the side of here. Now whenever you glue something, take a little piece of sandpaper, scuff up the areas that you're going to glue. That just helps it stick better. And then I glued it and bam, there you go. So when I take this off like that, I won't lose it. But this also has a thing on it too that I didn't notice until after I was done. I'm like, oh, I didn't need to do that. Because you can just go like that and put it on here. So I think this is an Offma bottle. I don't remember what kind of bottle this is. I got it in a package deal with that green Viper one. I got both of them for like, I think, what, five bucks on eBay. This one here. Oh, Venom, that's what it is. This Venom bottle. And this one I got both of these for five bucks. Brand new. So anyway... Uh, that's my tip. So, <clears throat> what else have we got going on? That's pretty much it. So, I just wanted to show you those engines. Um, I'm going to decide. I might just send both of these and get them modified. Because, you know, you know, I, if I do keep one of them, I, I can keep it to run. You know, if I want to race, at least I'll have, you know, that race motor. I mean, but I also have, you know, the, the, the Virtus. By the way... I'm going to run the Virtus in, because I might end up, if I can't find that Reds, another Reds like I want, um, I'm just going to send the Virtus in. The Virtus, the Elite 5, and definitely the Pico P3.28 when I get it. Those two will be getting modded by Lance. Um, I have a lot of .21s, and I don't have any interest in keeping them stock, even though they're some badass stock, stock ones that I have. Um... I, I'm going to get this thing modded because this thing is a nasty stock motor. I can only imagine getting this thing modded. This thing will be a, a monster. I'm going to run it, though, before and see how it, if it can pull. Because you remember, we ran this in the Mugen MBX-8 Truggy, okay? Um, so it should be, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run it in the Techno and see what it does. That way when I go get it modded, when, that way when I get it modded and I get it back, I know what it's, I, I know the difference. Like I said, from now on, I will be running stock motors, brand new or whatever, that I've never ran. I'm going to run whatever motor I get. If I've never ran it, I'm running it stock. If it's new, I'm breaking it in stock. Then I'm getting it mounted. And Lance has no problem with that because, like I said, he told me, and he knows, he's the professional, that the modification has nothing to do with the mod. So you can run a motor, break it in, and after you're done breaking it in, Send it to Lance and he'll mod the hell out of it. And it's easier when you get it back because you don't have to break it in again. All you do is run a tank through it and it's ready to rip, man. Which is, you know, which is what I did with the two that he did. So anyway, that's all I got. Muggy Maniacs. Um, I got to clean this thing up. I did the basics on it already. Um, also remember, when you're done running your vehicle, take all of your all of the old fuel and what I do is I all the fuel that comes out of my either my bottle or my tank, I'll put in here. See? Used fuel. I do not mix fuel that I've took out in the field. I don't mix it with my fresh fuel. I put it separate and I'll just use this first. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, these two reds motors. I'm getting another reds clutch. I've got it, uh, I gotta pull the trigger on that. They're expensive, man. And, and the Novorossi one, I want to. But, man, that, to buy that Novorossi with the clutch bell, you're spending 100 bucks. So, I mean, I don't know. For right now, I like the Reds because these Reds, you don't have to mess with, spring, with springs. Okay. By the way, highly recommend the King Heads. Okay. Gold 7075 hard aluminum clutch. I use two of those and two Max Lights. That's what I run. Most of the time. And it works great. Um, and if, like I said, if I'm running a stock motor, I'm running medium and hard springs. If I'm running modded motors, I always run light, maybe medium. Mostly light. Because like I said, modded don't need help on the clutch. Stock do. So anyway, that's all I got, people. Catch you guys later in the week. 
I'm going to be busy, so there probably won't be any videos till who knows, sometime next week. But you guys have a great week. Um, just keep it real, man. That's all That's all the muggy hat can say. Keep it real. Those guys that I give the shout-out to, they're not just, you know, those are guys that are keeping it real. Okay? And that's all I've ever done. And I will continue to take criticism and continue to get thumbs down. I don't care. You guys just, hey, thanks for the view, man. Because you guys are viewing me. They can't help but watching the muggy. So there's a little panoramic view of the cave. There's a few things that are going to change. I mean, it, but it's, it's okay for now. Um, and we're going to add some new family members here soon. All right, people. Remember, if you're not running your stuff, set your piston bottom dead center and put some juice in there. Don't leave your piston up on the sleeve. All right, people. And whatever you do, whatever makes you happy, that's what's important. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you run an RTR. It doesn't matter if you run a pole. Whatever. If it makes you happy and you get enjoyment out of it, hey, take advantage of it to the fullest. All right, people. That's all I got. Peace out.